The CW series Roswell, New Mexico has aliens, romance, mysteries, a whole lot more. But right now, for our leading lady, Liz, it's all about science. Eduardo, thank you. This machine is my favorite thing. It tests for everything. E, C, P, H, P, O, 4, P. I'm about to ask it to do my taxes. <laughs> hey, thanks for the uh, level E clearance, Valenti. Uh, they're not a sheriff. Please tell me you got something. Me and this machine are tight now, so we should have an answer soon. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just need one of these leads to pan out. It's ready. So, okay. what have they found? Okay, Perhaps our next guest can fill in the gaps movies. for us. Please welcome to the Pick 7 Morning expected. News our CW family member, actress Janine Mason. Good morning, Janine. How are you? Hey, good morning. Thank good you for having you. me. Yes. Okay. So it looks like from the clip that we just played there that you know your way around a lab and equipment. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I get, were you, yeah. a chem were, you, were you good at chemistry? I was not. I actually was, which is pretty hysterical. Science was my, my subject growing well, up. Funny you so should say that. So the fact that I because am now playing a scientist for four years is I happen to have right, right on the here money. the periodic table of elements. And so let's go oh through God, a few. I'm just no. kidding. Don't you worry. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. So Roswell in Mexico back for its fourth and final season. Fans a little disappointed, right, that this is it. There was great fan feedback from the premiere episode, right? So what's going yeah. on in this season? It's a really exciting season. We're getting a new dark triad is how we refer to this new set of aliens who are uh, in our small town and kicking up some, you know, dust per usual. And complicating things for our Scooby-Doo gang, our core group. And and um, meanwhile, Liz and Max are, again, just navigating whether they can make time to be happy truly when their their cosmic responsibility is so big. So okay. um, a lot in store this season. Now, I think say, fans will love. When you say happy truly, fans want to know if Liz and Max are going to see some kind of happy ending together. Well, can you tell us? Let's dish it out. Oh! You're really putting me on the spot. Um, I think I think there is so much to look forward to, and um, I think people will be happy with the end. I know I had the, the shooting the finale of this show is one of my favorite days of being a working actor. It was so fun to just get to look at my scene partner and say some things that I think fans will be excited to hear Liz say. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because looking back, I mean, on the four years that you've worked on Roswell, and really, you've embodied this character of Liz, right? What would you say, so many probably, but what would you say maybe is one of your favorite moments? Oof, that's a really good question. You know, I feel like the scenes in which I've gotten to hang out with a lot of our other Latin cast and got to speak in Spanglish, I never oh. had that experience. And I'm, you know, Cuban-American, and it was so fun to get to shoot a show on yeah. you know in a town where everybody half speaks spanish it was okay. fun to get to be in that space so there's a lot of talk lately I'm, I'm sure you got you knew about the fact that there were these hearings on capitol hill about whether or not aliens are real um so as someone whose character yeah. is dating an alien has the show have you have you you know what kind of investigative research did you have to do to kind of get into this did you do you believe I believe. I've always believed. And, and so does our whole cast. So that was just like so fun off the top. I remember one of my earliest memories of this show is on the pilot, all of us sitting around saying our close encounter stories. Like, have you ever seen anything that you've been like, wait, hold on, what was have that? Um, I have personally not, but I'm hoping if anything, four years of this show has to be telling them I'm ready. Okay. Like, come on, send me <laughs> something. I want to see something. Oh, you want to see them. <laughs> you want them to come to you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Even just like a little light on the horizon, something, something. Yeah. I always say, like, you know, if they, are, I, you know, I like to believe, but I always say, if they are really out there, why have we only seen these like tiny, grainy cell phone images? Why is there not a better image of yeah. something? You know. But that's just. I think me. they're that's, really good at hiding. It's like that's just saying, uh, you know, our OG <laughs> or our entertainment anchors, like, if they want to be seen, they'll be seen. They don't want to be seen, so they're that's not seen. True. That's true. Uh, that's okay. True. So help me understand here, because you have your finger on the pulse of what is going on in the world. I'm always late to the game. You and your castmate Michael Trevino are involved with an app called Fictions with a Z. What is it? Yes. This is a really amazing. You know, audio is just the, just the new storytelling frontier and. Um, David DeSantos, who we saw in the clip earlier, was an amazing actor on our series, who I adore. 
he um, he was a part of producing these, you know, um, audio series for fiction. And it was so fun to get involved. It's fun to say yes to working with friends, but it's especially fun when it's an emerging platform and just a really immersive way to, to listen to a story, you know? So it's like an audio book. It's like an audio book, but it's an audio narrative and it's little baby episodes. And it's almost like the best of a podcast and the best of a story I, in the book, you I know, it. it's fun. You, you got fun. me in. And by the way, yeah, we, did our own, we did our own little research here, looking at your social media, yeah. okay? We, <laughs> we can tell that you obviously have a passion for reading on the beach and all places. Yeah. Um, what kind of genre are you reading? Are you reading about aliens? What's your favorite? I, well, so for the show, I love profiling the books that help me build my character, Liz Orteco. It, it started as just, you know, I'm Cuban and Liz is Mexicana, she's Mexican. So it was, it was doing the work of getting these Mexican women, their voices in my head to inform this character, to feel like it was honest to her. And then it's just sort of taken off. I've met so many lovely writers, a lot who are New York based, which has been wonderful. Angie Cruz, who wrote Dominicana, which is one of my favorite books I've read, oh my God, in the last few years. Her new book, she actually just like messaged me on Instagram and was like, I have a new book, can I send it to you? I'm uh, like, yeah, girl, send okay. it over. So All right. It's been a really fun community. You yeah. got a lot going on. You won, so you think you can dance? Can you sing? You want to do Broadway? I can't, That that's the plan. You want to come? I'll, I'll, I'll leave you a ticket for opening night. I'll oh, figure oh, I, thought out gonna, I thought I could be in the cast with you. you know, I mean that. Hell yeah, so let's dream go. Is, is, I, you know, I, they all make fun of me around here, but I, I'm a singer in my own head. Um, all right. All right. Done. It was great to so, chat with you. Real quick, what's AL on the periodic table? AL. Aluminum. There you go. Oh, yeah, see? Woo! You, you, still you got gave it. me a softball, you're and still, I appreciate still, it forever. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it. It was good to chat with you, okay? So great. Thank all right. you, guys. Uh, Have we're a gonna, good day. We're going to keep watching you on Roswell, New Mexico, Mondays at 8 p.m. right here on Pix11. Janine, have a good weekend, okay?